All right, this is going to be our second case study. We're looking at doing an interior space. Uh, I have opened up a brand new file, and I'm just going to repeat those same steps I did in the last video. So I'm keeping the scale figure in place. I'm making a new dummy box. Oops, let me go ahead and do that again. All right, so I've got 12 by 12. Make that into a group, open it up, and give it 12 inches up. And now I'm going to make a scene. So window, scenes, I'm going to add a new scene and I'm going to call this perspective. Okay, so we're in the exact same place we were uh, first round. Now let's do a new match photo. Camera, match new photo. This time I'm going to do the kitchen. So I'm going to open up this shot. I got the same lines. Now what I want to do is I actually want to, this is what I was talking about in the first video where it's pretty intuitive when you first bring in an exterior because usually your vanishing points are in the opposite direction. Here our vanishing points are actually in the, in, in the reverse direction, meaning that I've got vanishing points going way out here for this wall and way out here for this wall. So what I'll, what I'll actually do is I'm just going to use the red and the green but in opposite ways. So I'm just grabbing them by the dotted line portion and moving them over so that my match photo will basically already be pretty close to what it's supposed to be. Then I'm going to match up some lines that I can see really easily. So I can really easily see, I can also by the way zoom in while I'm doing this, I can really easily see that point on the inside of that base and that edge. And I can also really easily see defined the top corner and edge of that wall. <clears throat> Same goes for this one. So I'm going to grab that green node and move it down to that top corner just like that. And then take that other node and move it over to here. And then just follow the same pattern with the lines at the bottom. So I've got my perspective basically set. This one was pretty easy because we had some pretty clear cut, really obvious lines to work with. Uh, we're going to say that this ceiling is nine feet tall. I think that's what, what I what will work out. So I'm going to move the origin point over so that the blue line is touching the edge of that. And I'm going to start scaling again. I want to make sure that my spacing is one feet so I can verify that to begin with. That's why I like to have a scale figure in this little box in place because it kind of already makes sense. And um, I think we're, I think we should probably actually say eight foot six to be safe. Let's, let's take a look and see how that works. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet right now. So we want to bring this down to another eight and then take it to that halfway point right there. Okay. And of course, if this was a real space that I could verify in person, I would automatically know exactly how high this is, but I'm just gauging. I'm thinking it's probably about eight foot six. Okay, once I'm done, I right click and I say done. So now I automatically have a kitchen and a perspective shot. The last thing I want to do is I want to go to Window, Styles, and I want to update this style so that when I edit it, and, and for some reason edit is, is locked at this point, I think I just have to click over to select and then I can click back to edit. Now I can uncheck foreground photo so that I can see my scale figure and see my cube, and then update that style by clicking on the style so that it updates. So now if I move out of place, I can go back to my perspective. Now notice in the perspective, the match photo is not there. That's because the match photo is isolated to this shot, which is the, the match photo that we have set up and established for this. So again, I want to quickly verify that my match photo works just by starting to draw some shapes in this space and giving them some volume and seeing how they look. So I can see here that already it's working out that my match photo has match the perspective of the shot and as I move things around in space they will look natural and look like they belong in this scene.